Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and in this mini Unity tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can play a video in your scene in Unity quite easily. Don't forget, click on subscribe and click on that bell icon as well to stay up to date with everything I upload on video game development on my channel. With that in mind, let's get to work. So videos work a little bit differently than normal textures in Unity, but not on all objects. Uh, probably best to say that now, not on all objects. So we have this here, the wooden texture, and it's on an object. No problem. So if we were to put in a cube, for example, so let's go uh, 3D object cube, and let's have that cube as 10 by five. Let's move it backwards a little bit so we can see. And we could literally just drag and drop that onto the cube. And when we press play, it would indeed render. Hey in guys, the cube. Jimmy Vegas here. No problem. In this mini Unity tutorial. I'm going to show the video I'm using here is a mini tutorial that I did a couple of weeks ago. Um, so it may sound a little bit weird with me talking twice, but it's just a quick example I'm using. So yeah, you can do that, but that's not how we want to display the video. We want a video that is full screen. So in order to do that, if we let's get rid of that cube, uh, we'll need to create a video player on here. So game object, video, and video player. Now within this video player, we need to attach whatever video we're playing over here in the video clip. And then we need to create a render texture because we need this to go somewhere. So if we right click, create, and then go down to render texture, and let's call this video output. Now the key thing to do in this is matching whatever aspect ratio your video is in. My video is in 1080, so this will be 1920 by 1080. Other settings don't really matter too much. You could play around with them if you want to, but they're not necessary right now. We just want to get the video rendering and playing in our scene. So next, we need to add in some UI elements, otherwise it won't play. So game object, UI, and let's go with raw image. I'm going to stretch the raw image all the way across the scene there. And I'm going to zero out everything just so as it is completely across. And you'll see it's just the big white image right now. So the final thing to do to get this working correctly would be to add the render texture, the video output to the texture over here. Drag and drop to there. Now it's also worth noting you can play around with the color to change how dark or how bright the video would look. Having it at full white here, 255 and then FFFFF, we'll play the video as normal. So all being well now, what's happening is the video is going into the video player it's then going to go into that target texture. So we need to drag and drop that video output onto there. So from that video output, it then gets displayed technically as a texture through to the raw image. So if we were to press play now, we would see Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here. And in this mini Unity tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can... Up so it's pretty much how it works. It's as simple as that. A lot of people do struggle with it because they think they can just drag and drop onto a canvas image like that. But let me uncouple the game tab, stretch it, and you can see that the video is of acceptable quality. It is pretty much how the video would be. So I'm going to press play again. We should be able to see. Hey guys, Jimmy and Vegas here. And in this mini Unity tutorial, I'm going to show you. So the reason it does look a little bit uh, distorted is simply because the size I have there is not actually 1080 even when I pull it out and increase the size here because we've got down here and up here that isn't rent isn't available to render so I've just closed the game I didn't mean to do that uh, either way that's not gonna be a problem at all that is how you can actually render your game your video through your scene and remember what I said about the colors, you can change the colors to darken or change the overall color of the video itself if you wanted to. I mean, there's a lot more to go into uh, video within Unity. Um, but for now, I just want to show people how to actually get the video into their scene because I think that's what people struggle with more than anything. There are ways of playing around with the video after that, but a lot of people struggle with just getting that video into Unity. And that is how you do it. It's as simple as that it's all about that output to the render texture and the render texture into the correct place. So guys, I hope that's helped. And yeah, 
you've got to think about this as a way of if you've got a pre-rendered scene as a video put it in instead of actually rendering the scene yourself so think of it as let's say you've got a cut scene that occurs why don't you create it in unity record that as a video and then use that video in unity rather than when people play the game that cutscene gets rendered use it as think of it as like an fmv as they used to have in uh, the old days you know like final fantasy 7 8 9 whatever that's you know that's one way of doing it so guys i hope that's helped and yeah thank you very much for watching